In this video, we're sharing what we do for our day job. So whilst our scroll saw projects are great fun and we love sharing them with you, our day job is carving Welsh love spoons. This particular video focuses on bespoke love spoons that we've been asked to hand carve. Now occasionally we get asked, what do we mean by bespoke love spoons? Well basically, these are made when people contact us and ask us for specific symbols. So all of these spoons are requests that have been made to us for love spoons that people would like made. Now anyone who's new to wood carving, love spoon carving, it's a great way to learn, it's a great process, and it's great fun. And that's why we share the time lapses, is you can see the process of how to carve a love spoon, and you can see that we enjoy the whole process. For those of you who aren't familiar with the love spoon tradition, uh, the symbols are an important part of what makes the love spoon tradition special. Because symbols on a love spoon have meanings. Some are traditional and date back to the early years of the love spoon, back to the 17th century. Other symbols are more modern inclusions. Nice part with bespoke work is that you can include symbols that are relevant and important to the couple or individual. And the nice thing with that then is it makes the design and the spoon itself more personal and more unique. It allows you to tell the other person's story through the love spoons that we hand carve. Now another part with the process of making love spoons, when it comes to the symbols, sometimes we know what the story is behind a particular design that we've been asked to make. On other occasions, we have no idea at all. So people will ask us for very specific symbols and we'll include them on the love spoon because we know that they're important to the recipient. But for ourselves, it's always a little bit of mystery not knowing what the individual symbols mean to those who asked us to make the spoon. You'll notice throughout the video that we use all sorts of different woods. Some of the woods that we've demonstrated in this particular time lapse include teak, walnut, oak, mahogany, basically whatever we have available and the colour of wood that the individual prefers. When it comes to the wood that we use, we recycle a lot of it. So the particular spoon you can see us demonstrating now is a piece of recycled teak. Came to us as a piece of furniture that nobody wanted any longer. A beautiful wood with a beautiful grain and a beautiful finish that you can achieve on it. So the process of designing and hand carving the love spoons that we make 
It starts off with a simple little idea. We can then develop a design around the initial idea, draw it all out on paper, make any adaptions that are required. We then transfer the drawing onto the wood itself, cut out a basic profile to get the light and the shade into the design, and then we're on to our hand carving. In years gone by, we always used carbon paper to transfer our design onto the wood itself. You'll still see us using this method and demonstrating it in a lot of our scroll saw projects. When it comes to making our love spoons, we've adapted and changed what we do, and we now stick the design onto the wood itself. It's not ideal because you are cutting through that paper drawing when you are hand carving. And the issue with doing that is it does have a tendency to take the edge off your gouge ever so slightly more quickly. But it allows us to have those guidelines to follow and we can cut all of the design out whilst that paper drawing is on the woods. A nice part of that process then is as you are carving, as you cut away that paper drawing, you reveal the beautiful character and colour of the grain below. Throughout this video, hopefully you can see that a bespoke love spoon, a Welsh love spoon can include and incorporate all sorts of designs and messages that you want to portray. This is what makes the tradition really unique. It has the ability to adapt and evolve and to tell your story as an individual. is a fantastic way then because of its ability to tell the story for recording events and occasions. It can record weddings and anniversaries, engagements, all sorts of different occasions because you can record things that are significant to either the day itself or the individuals that are involved. For those of you who are interested in my own process of wood carving then, as you can see, I secure everything in a vise. This allows me to get both hands onto the wood carving tools themselves, cut away from myself and carve the entire process with a higher degree of safety. We use vintage gouges because we find that we can get a better finish on the edge and a sharper tool for doing the job. And a sharper tool is a safer tool to work with. Being asked to make individual one-off love spoons allows us to maintain our enthusiasm for what we do. Because you're always making something original and different, it's a fascinating job that we are undertaking. No two love spoons are ever the same. No two stories are the same. And no two pieces of wood will work in exactly the same way. That's what gives the tradition its individuality. That's what keeps our enthusiasm for what we do as strong as it can be. Hopefully that's an interesting little insight into what we do as a day job. Let us know in the comments section which one of those symbols, which one of those spoons is your favourite. If you're new here and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so you know when we upload another video. If you like what you see as well, 
help us out by giving us a little thumbs up. Thanks again for watching, and as always, we will be back again soon with more videos.